Now, as people struggle to adjust to the daily challenges of life under lockdown, there's also an emerging question of just what its lasting impacts will be. Will the world return to business as usual, or is it possible that there will be a new normal that we all have got used to? Well, someone who's given this a lot of thought is Callum Chase, futurist and author of Surviving AI. And Callum joins me now. I'm delighted to say welcome to the programme, Callum. Um, so there are positives in all of this. A lot of people saying that they think there could be more working from home in the future, for example. I think that's a, a pretty reasonable supposition. Obviously, we don't know how much our, our lives are going to spring back to the way they were. If we get a, a V-shaped economic recovery, then probably quite a lot will go back to the way it was. But there's definitely going to be some sizable changes. And one, as you say, is a lot of us are getting used to remote meeting, remote working, and it's working for a lot of people. Uh, it saves a lot of time. And particularly for one-on-one -on -one conversations, it's quite efficient. You save on the travel time. Uh, I think for group meetings, it's still the, the technology is still not good enough to get anywhere near replicating being in the same room at the same time. So I think uh, group meetings and conferences will probably come back. But one-on-one -on -one meetings particularly, yep, yeah, there could be a lot more of that going on remotely. And the knock-on of that, I suppose, when you think about perhaps people working from home maybe one or two extra days a week than they were before all of this, could be so many different things, things like public transport being used less, the pollution being less, and perhaps more people moving out of the city. It's possible. I personally doubt that cities are going to empty out as a result of this. Cities are machines for innovation. Young people in particular like to gather and, and have chance encounters, meet in large groups in bars and pubs. And you just you still can't do that online. Maybe one day in the distant future when we have hologram, holographic uh, VR, uh, it, it could be possible. But you know, until we get Star Trek's hologram and, um, or holodeck, I, I think people are going to still want to meet in, in person. And you mentioned innovation there, and that has been the mother of innovation, hasn't it, this imposed lockdown? People have been forced to find new ways of doing things. People have, and there's uh, a lot of nice human interest stories about people climbing Everest on their own stairs. Uh, and something that anecdotally seems to be happening is people are talking to their friends and relatives more. And that's a good thing. Let's hope that continues. But you mentioned innovation. And one of the things about this virus is that people are getting their, a lot of people are getting their first close up and personal look at the impact of exponential growth. This doubling of, of deaths that's going on every period uh, between two days and five days is an example of exponential growth. And another area where exponential growth is happening is in the power of our technology and particularly in computing and particularly in artificial intelligence. Now, this exponential growth in the power of AI is going to create enormous changes, changes which will outshadow anything we've ever seen before. And it's going to happen in the next few decades. We, I, I, sorry. I just wanted to interrupt. Do you think that's a positive change? It, it should be positive, and there are downside risks. But the uh, the positive changes it can bring could be absolutely wonderful. Um, there's a lot of debate about at the moment about whether machines will take our jobs, and my own view is that it's not going to happen in the next decade or so. There will be a lot of churn. People will have to find new jobs as jobs are automated. But there will be work for people to go to because machines can't yet do everything that we can do for money. But in 20 or 30 years, when machines, and this sounds incredible, but if Moore's law continues, which it probably will, it's true, um, machines will be a million times more powerful than they are today in 30 years. Then technological unemployment is quite likely. Now, that could be a very good thing, but we need to be ready for it. We need people to understand the incredible power of exponential growth so that we can manage that sort of transition well. If we do, our world is going to get wonderfully good. And perhaps this pandemic has prepared us all for that. Callum Chase, really good to get your thoughts. Thanks very much indeed.